pleasure. We have seen that in his life. Open your mouth and say, God, we bless you. We have seen the physical strength. We have seen the spiritual strength. We have seen the dynamite of God on the inside of him flowing out. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. God is good and is greatly to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. I said in Jesus' name we pray. Today we are here again. And unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. Can I hear you? Amen. Well, you are going to tell the Lord that we need more of his anointing upon his chosen servants to minister unhindered this night. No power will be able to confront his ministration. No demon will be able to stand on the way of his ministration. Open your mouth and pray this night. God of heaven, God of heaven, the God of heaven will grant him more of his anointing. There is more, brethren. There is more miracle, brethren. There is more healing, brethren. There is more deliverances, brethren. Tell the Lord, open your unction upon him. That this night, from this pulpit, as he will stand to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, the wonders of the cross, we will see it. We will see salvation. We will see healing. We will see deliverance. We will see anointing that breaks every yoke. Open your mouth and pray. This night is another night. This night is a wonderful night. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray that every remnant, no matter the cross from the letter C, every remnant of the curse of the law, every remnant of the reproach of the adversary, every remnant of the oppression of the devil, every remnant of the sin of the penitent, every remnant of the suffering of the participant of this crusade must be dealt with tonight. I say must be dealt with tonight. Open your mouth and say, God, this is our desire. This is our desire. This is our expectation. The Bible tells us that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. This is our expectation. Every remnant of the curse, every remnant of the reproach of the adversary, every remnant, every remnant of oppression, every remnant of sin, every remnant of suffering in the life of any participant here in the Alpha Center and over the globe, wherever people are gathering, either using the social media handles, wherever they are connected, this night, every remnant, every remnant, every remnant shall be swept away. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, and in verse 36. He said, but when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. We want to ask the Lord for compassion. We want to ask the Lord for cure. We want to ask the Lord for confirmation of the word of his servant. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That is the promise he has given to us. In the book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 26. He said, 
he confirmed it and he's still doing it he's still doing it isaiah 44 and in verse 26 the bible tells us that confirmed the word of his servants and performed the counsel of his messengers that said to jerusalem thou shalt be inhabited and to the cities of judah ye shall be built and i will raise up the decayed places thereof tell the lord this night we want to see more passion we want to see more of your cure we want to see more of you confirming the word of your servant you saw it yesterday he, he mentioned insane people just two times just two times just two times and at the end of the prayer you saw the jubilation yesterday that's god confirming the word of his servant and that is what we need today if miracle will come god must confirm the word of his servant if the sick must be healed if the sinners must be convicted and converted god must confirm the word of his servant tell the lord tonight is a night of compassion tonight is a night of cure tonight is a night of confirmation you will confirm the word of your servant as he speaks you will confirm it in jesus name we pray we're praying on the wonders of the cross look at that cross again you see a letter there are there must be reconciliation there must be restoration there must be remembrance of mercy remember what habakkuk said he said lord i have heard your word he said in wrath remember mercy we are going to say god this night will be a night of the remembrance of your mercy you will remember mercy on the sinful those people that are terrible in their heart have mercy on them and let the salvation of God come upon them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There must be overflowing blessing, overturning of the situations of, in the lives of people. He said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. Tell the Lord, this night will be a night of overflowing of your blessing, a night of overturning of the situations in the lives of people tell the lord special miracles in jesus name we pray amen we want to tell the lord there will be solution for problems tonight we have told them to come and they are coming in no time now this place will be filled up we are going to say god this night because of the letter s in the cross that your son was crucified there shall be solution to the problems in the lives of man remember this world was lost calvary opened a new way this night a new way will be open open your mouth and begin to pray tell the lord send down your power that will bring solution to every problem that shall be represented here pray also that the people whatsoever is keeping them at home we want them to rush to this place now we want them to rush to this place now god within a short time let this place be filled up with people let this place be filled up with people people that will receive solution to their problems because your power is ready open your mouth and pray in jesus name we pray we want to pray and take authority over every form of global confrontation and resistance to the blessing of the people this night you know the theme of the crusade if you look at it it is provoking it provokes satan 
You know why? Anytime the cross is mentioned, it, it exposes their ignorance of the hidden wisdom of God. That's what the Bible tells us. If you open your Bible and read it in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 7 and 8, the hidden wisdom of God that was kept for our glory. For if they had known, the princes of this world had known, they wouldn't have crucified the prince of peace. So we're going to say, God, tonight, every global confrontation and resistance, we buy. I say we buy. We cast them down. Open your mouth and pray. They will not succeed. They will not prevail. Every global gathering, every global confrontation and resistance from the sea, from the air, anywhere, 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 we frustrate them and we bring them to naught. Open your mouth and pray. Come on, pray. In any way that they are gathering, by the road junction, where they are gathering, any apps they are projecting, any device that they are projecting to monitor and frustrate the plan of God, we blast them. We blow them up by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the power in the name of Jesus. We blow down every setup, everything, every manipulation. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen want to pray for mass conversion you saw the way we rejoice yesterday because of the touch of god upon an infame person we want heaven to rejoice as well and what makes heaven to rejoice is for the soul that repents want to say god mass conversion i say mass conversion through the global spread of the gospel this night. Open your mouth and pray. Mass conversion. That the hardened will not resist the flame, the sword of the spirit. This night, everywhere in the whole world, that this gospel shall penetrate. No hardened heart shall resist the word. When Peter spoke, on the day of Pentecost, the people that heard him, they were pricked in the heart. And they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And that was how Peter led them to Christ. And they continued in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. This is our turn that God will reign mass conversion Jesus name we pray Jesus name we pray we want to cast down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and we want to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every imagination in the minds of occultic men, every imagination in the realm of the spirit, every imagination among agents of darkness, this evening, cast them down. Everything that want to exalt itself against the knowledge of God, cast them down. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ.
In Jesus' name, we pray. Listen, we cannot forget this one. Jesus asked that blind man, what do you want me to do for you? That's all. And the man said that I might see, receive my sight. I ask you that same question from the Bible for Jesus. What do you want God to do for you this fifth night of these wonders of the cross crusade? Tell him, tell him, tell him. Open your mouth and pray. Are you sick in the body? And you want that sickness to go? Tell him. Are you afflicted? And you want that affliction to go? Tell him. Are you confused? And you want to come out of the confusion of your life? Tell him. Are you struggling in pains and in sorrow? Tell him. What is the name of that sickness? Tell him. They call it pile. Tell him. They call it tuberculosis. Tell him. Whatsoever is the name, hunchback. Tell him, Lord, this is what I want you to do for me. As part of the wonders of the cross, this night, have you brought somebody here? You can tell the Lord on the behalf of that person. Tell the Lord. Wonders of the cross. Wonders. 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 In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Father, we bless your name. You are the one that invited us. And we have come. Thank you because all things are ready for everyone present here and everywhere. Manifest your power. Thank you because I know you've answered. Because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.